Hi everyone, my name is Carl. In this video, I quickly want to show you how you can customize the inputs for Unreal Engine and specifically for my sword system as well. Cool. So my sword system supports uh, versions from Unreal Engine 4.21 upwards. Um, and in 4.21, 22 and 23, the VR inputs worked a certain way. And in 24 uh, upwards, they changed it to uh, have more specific settings for the different VR controllers like the Valve Index and the Oculus Touch and stuff like that. So let's quickly look at the earlier versions first. Um, so the easiest thing to do is if we head into Pawn and then into Motion Controller Pawn Swords, you'll see this is where we handle all the input for the player. Um, you can see Handle Teleportation, and then controller input, there we go. So there's an input action grab left, input action grab right, and that just activates the events in your motion controller that is referenced from your controller uh, left or controller right. So I would say the best way to do the inputs is to actually create uh, inputs in your project settings. So if we scroll down engine, we go to input, you'll see we've got these action mappings and axis mappings. Um, and in the action mappings, you can have these actions. And you, if you want to add an action, let's say you want to make your character jump or whatever, you can call it jump. And then here you can select um, motion, oops, motion controller, and you can have face buttons. So let's say we want to press button one and then we want that button to make the character jump. Uh, this won't do anything to make the character actually jump. You'll still have to set that up yourself, um, but that makes it easier to identify the action. So we've created this action now. We've set that to the left motion controller, face button one. So that would be on the Oculus Touch, it would be the X button on your left controller. And if we head back into our pawn now, if we right click now and we type jump, then you'll see we have the action events jump. And then we've got a pressed and a released. Um, and an easy way to, t to test these uh, inputs before you set up all your mechanics to actually make the character jump or whatever you want to do, let's say it's firing a gun or whatever. Um, what I like to do is just drag off this uh, type print. Let's make a print string. Just up the duration to five seconds so that we have time to see what it says. And then in the string, we can type jump. So now, if this action works when we press the button, it'll print the word jump to the screen. So we can test that real quick. Cool. So now if I press the X button on my left controller, that's also set up to teleport at the moment. But you can see at the top left there, it says jump. So now we know our jump input is working. So let us delete this. And we can quickly recreate the grab left input. So let's go into project settings, scroll down to input, and then we've got grab left. Let's delete that. So now we don't have one. So let's delete the jump one as well. Cool. So now if you want to add a new action, you click on the plus icon here, and we can call that grab left motion controller the left one and we want to use the grip button and if you want to you can also add the trigger button to grab that motion controller left trigger cool so that's those two added Grab left, and then let's say you're doing something and these aren't working, you can always just test this by using a print string. Grab left, just up that a bit. Cool, so let's just test that quickly. Cool, so now if you press the grip button, you'll see it prints there at the top. If you press the trigger button, it also prints grab left. And if you want to connect that back up, 
You can just connect the press there and the release there. There we go. Now you can grab and release. Cool. This could also be a cool thing. Um, let's say you want to grab the sword, um, but not have it drop automatically when you release the grip. You can just disconnect these release actor uh, events. And now if you grab an object, um, it will not be released when you release the trigger or the grip button. And then you can make a new input for release. So let's say... Um, we're going to call this release, Oops. release left, motion controller, let's do like thumbstick down, so if you press down on the thumbstick, it should then release the left controller, so we can say release, left just plug that into there and we can test that out cool so now you'll see if we grab the sword and we release the grip button it doesn't release the sword so we can keep grabbing the sword and keep holding it um, and that just makes it a bit easier maybe if you want to uh, keep the sword connected for certain types of gameplay and stuff like that but if you press down on the stick you can still drop it so that just makes it so that you don't actually hold in the grip button or the trigger the whole time. There we go. Cool. And you can do the same for the teleport settings or the teleport inputs. You'll see there's an input action teleport left, input action teleport right. And if these aren't working for your specific uh, set of controllers that you're using, you can just go into project settings, scroll down to input, and then just see teleport right what inputs you're actually using for that action. And like I said, in Unreal Engine 4, 24 and upwards, they added specific settings for the different uh, types of controllers. So let's just look at that quickly. So this is a 424 now. If we open our motion controller pawn. We'll see we've got our input action grab left as well and grab right. So let's go to the input settings quickly. Cool. So now we've got teleport right, grab left. Let's look at grab left quickly. We'll see we've got Oculus Touch, Oculus Touch, Valve Index, Vive. Um, and then you can set up your specific controllers here. Let's say you've got a Windows Mixed Reality uh, headset or whatever you're using. Um, you can just make sure that you are using the correct uh, settings over here so if we add a plus there and Windows Mixed Reality see there you can add your specific controller inputs as well so let's say in this case we would add the Mixed Reality left the grip button there we go so now they'll work with the Mixed Reality headset as well and you'll just need to do that for all your inputs so let's say you can't teleport you see it's only set to the oculus touch so you may want to add a stuck index valve index left and then you can select any button let's say a press and then teleport right so at the top here you want to add index right the right controller a press cool so now if you press a on your valve index controllers that'll activate the teleport as well and you can do the same with the force grab you'll see it's only only set up for the oculus touch because i can't really test it with anything else um, so you can just add these uh, specific inputs for your specific controller whether it's htc vive or whatever I hope that helps. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, you can always email me as well. My email is available on the uh, store page for my assets on the uh, Unreal Engine Marketplace store. Thanks a lot and have an awesome day.